Right. Hey guys, this is going to be the uh, fetal pig dissection um, kind of run through for um, the female fetal pig. Um, you can tell it's the female fetus because um, we have the orifice back here, right? And not up here where we would see it with the male. And it's also written on the bag. But um, to start, you're going to want to get your pig, take it out of the bag, drain it, of course. Um, maybe get some couple towels to bring back with you at the table because it gets, you know, um, wet just to soak things up. You're gonna get a piece of string. We're gonna cut it about that long, right? Two pieces to secure one limb. And we're gonna wrap that string under the table, right? To secure the other limb. And if we need to get it tighter, you know, we can wrap the string around to get it tight, basically. But we want it to be looking like this. Now you can stop it there. All right, so starting the, our midline incision, the best way to do it is to grab the umbilical cord, get your scalpel, Always cut away with the scalpel, right? So you don't cut yourself accidentally, or at least for this part, um, right? And you're just gonna start a small incision, right? And go slow, right? You wanna be as thin as possible, right? And this is why it's kind of helpful to pull the umbilical cord to towards you to just kind of keep this first layer taut, right? So I just made it through the first skin layer. I'm not even through all the fascia here. But you can kind of keep going slowly but steadily. You gotta make it through all the muscle. with it first and then we can get deeper all right so you're gonna go all the way up towards the chin basically all right and then we're gonna continue our incision around the umbilical cord and then straight down to the anus all right Guys, I've just been kind of just taking very narrow cuts until I've, you know, penetrated right the abdominal cavity. You can see part of the peritoneum here. Well, this little bit here is the very last layer, right? We can start seeing some of the internal organs. So you just kind of work your way up, right? You want to be very careful, right? Right. Once we get to the rib cage where I'm at here, well, I'm cutting through the. Wow, well, yeah, that's not. That's nothing at all. <laughs> That's really easy. All right, so I'm kind of cutting alongside uh, the side of the sternum, right? If the sternum's coming straight down, I'm cutting right next to it, basically. And you see how I'm just kind of being very careful to avoid all of these organs here. Okay, hold on, let's take a look. All right, guys, I made it through the ribs pretty easily. I have a fresh scalpel, so, but um, right when I'm, you know, kind of, it's nice to use, you can kind of spread with force a little bit here and we can kind of start to make things out and I've been careful this right here is the trachea actually I believe this would be the thyroid gland right here on top of it this little bulb um, and it's deviated kind of you know it's going towards it's hard to tell but right here cut this little bit right here right? this little bit of the pleural membrane right here's my other here are my other liver lobes or not liver sorry lung lobes but we got to figure out how the Let's try to see this trachea connect to it. So I'm gonna pause the video now. So what I thought was initially the trachea actually turned out to be the left sternocleidomastoid muscle. And it was coming from the chin down to here. It kind of looked like it had the bulb sitting on it, which looked like the thyroid. But, you know, we cut past it and further right here, this right here, this is our trachea. And you can feel the, uh, the cartilage in it. It's hard if I press down on it. So we can reflect this basically, you know, cut around it, pull it down. You can see how it'll connect, how the trachea connects into the into these lungs. What else that we can note around here? Um, the heart, you can see the pericardial sac. I'm literally pulling it off, fingers underneath it. Here, look, we can see both the right auricle and the left auricle of the heart. Let's see, these are all our lobes. They have more lobes. They have different lobe structure than humans do, uh, pigs. Um, here, you can see like we have a lot of water inside the body cavity. It might be a good idea to either pick up your, your whole tray, your specimen, and take it, and you can just dump it, maybe, you know, the rope, it won't be, uh, it won't get loose. It won't knock your pig loose. Or you can just, you know, um, do what they do in surgery, right? They have these uh, sponges or towels that, you know, they soak up pretty well. And, you know, every now and then they get left inside a patient. But, you know, we figure that out the next week. and <laughs> Open them up again and get it out. But, um, yeah, that's probably going to use a lot of towels. It'd probably be a good idea if we uh, drain our pig because, you know, working, I mean, you can't even see what's going on here, right? Uh, all right, but here's our liver. Let's see if we can't make out the gallbladder. Well, 
Back here you can see how this is how the umbilical cord is connected to the liver, right? Uh, right we're going to the liver, the gallbladder, be located posterior. You can uh, it's hard to make out. We'll get it in the next video. I'll, I'll point it out. It's okay. To point out here is all of this fatty sort of looking stuff. This kind of well, it's not fatty, right? It looks. Um, uh, let's see. What's the word for it? Glandular. Uh, this structure right here. This is part of this is part of the thymus, part of the thymus. Because remember, in the fetal thymus, you know this lobe might even be part of it too. Because I don't know if that's muscle or. Uh, anyway, but uh, remember, in the fetal pigs, right, the thymus is you know active, making all your T cells and B cells before it kind of gets smaller. Um, so in the fetus, you know, we should expect to see the thymus covering most of this area, maybe even extending past over the heart. Um, this little little bit you'll see if you find the trachea and kind of go down it you'll see this little button looking thing and right here this right here what i'm holding in my hand this is the thyroid gland and that's just about everything that we'll see up here right we might be able to see some uh um i bet one of the mm, i'm not sure if that's the uh one of the salivary glands that we have -ish. but you'll be able to find those th uh, three we can maybe do in it that's for the bonus um what else do we need to see down here? Well, let's just make it out. We'll get the innards out um, so we can get to the ovaries. And uh, oh, here we can see the spleen. This little piece, this noodle looking thing. The right is on the far left. That's the spleen. Um, yeah, that's good. You can just cut it. Um, superior to the heart. I've basically been um, looking at some vessels here, but I was trying to get to the trachea. Here, you see the trachea? Can you see the rings? If you look really close, see the cartilaginous rings that we have in the trachea? You can actually see those. And then right just behind it, this is this is our esophagus. So you can quite literally peel sometimes it, it works. Yeah. So this tube right here would be going, right? Let's see, there'd be a sphincter here. Anyway, we'd end up getting ultimately into the stomach if we were to trace it. But okay, I'm gonna take the vital organs out now. And then you can literally pull, right? Pull and cut, kind of, right? Pull and cut, you're gonna feel the back of the, uh, the spine here. So this is almost out, right? What was, what was holding it? Okay, we have some fascia here. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's look at this. Well. Let's see, if you guys want, it might be a good idea. If you guys get the heart out like this, you can probably, maybe if we get, if those pins are skinny enough, you might be able to get those in. We could figure out exactly what hole is what hole, right? The big one right here is that's going to be our trachea. Again, you can, I can feel the cartilages rings in it. So I know, but right behind it is the esophagus, right? That's going down. Right, the heart and the uh, lungs, right? There's our trachea, it goes right and it ends, it's going in here, right? Somewhere there's, it's bifurcates the corona, right? But our esophagus continues behind it. So this is our continuation of our esophagus. This was the esophagus, you know, I was quick to point out thinking what um, it is, what I thought it was, but no, this is the esophagus, right? I can get a pin, all right? I wanna see if I can actually, you know, well, let me break this in half so make it a little shorter. Let's see if I can poke around and feel this within the stomach. Well, I can't, but yeah, I'd probably just poke through something else. But that's definitely the esophagus. <laughs> it's definitely the esophagus, right? Um, Well, let's keep cutting. Ouch. Almost stabbed myself. Okay, so I'll keep pu pulling my fingers back here and back here, and I touch the, briefly touch the kidneys. You can, uh, if you wanna, you can kind of go ahead. There's the kidney, right? It's sitting behind the peritoneum, so it's retroperitoneal, right? We'll get past that. 
I gotta get all these other guts out. The guts. Okay, hold on. Let's cut around. All right, yeah, we can go All ahead of these guts, right? You remember how we said the digestive tract is basically essentially a tube? Right, so I'm basically holding all of that in my hand and it's just connected to see. It's being very careful to cut. Okay, this right here. Well, hold on, let's cut it around here just to loosen up the kidneys because I'm starting to pull them out from the peritoneum, right? Let's see, what else do we have here? Let's cut that a little bit. All right, I'm about to cut the rectum, you ready? And boom. So now we can start pu pulling out the things here, right? So the gallbladder was that guy here. Let's see. We got the stomach, right? This is the duodenum, right? This is the start of the small intestine, right? So we'd have the um, uh, gastric sphincter or the pyloric sphincter, excuse me. All right, we can follow this back. Okay, yeah, pause that. On to what we know. This is the spleen. Oh, hold on. Let's see. What's this vessel right here, guys? All right, that's for you guys to um, figure out. It's connected to, well, let's see, it's going to the stomach, okay. It. All right, that's definitely a blood vessel. Let's see what other vessels we can find coming from the spleen. Yeah, it might be a good idea to start using a hemostat for some of this stuff because it's getting slippery. Right here, we got some more vasculature. Good deal. All right, so let's um, show you show you guys the pancreas. Pancreas is this thing right here, granular looking, very unimpressive, and it sits just under the stomach. So this right here, this is the pancreas. All right, we're gonna keep following the small intestine, small intestine, small intestine. Eventually, somewhere, right? If I can cut through all this mess and tear, all right, we'll get to the large intestine. And we can trace that out. If you guys want to, right, oh, a good bit of poop in here. Um, so, yeah, don't want to cut that one out. Cut that out. Um, right, so maybe as you guys pull out the insides, maybe uh, one of the partners, if you guys want to, you can, you know, separate out the, you know, the small intestine. You guys can stretch it out if you want. Maybe if we'll have time, we'll see that you can make out everything pretty nicely within here. Anyway, it's satisfying. Okay, let's see. So now the next thing that we have, right, is the urogenital system. Once we got all of this stuff out, all right, well, let's see, we need to probably drain the pig again, right, because I can't see anything. I, you know, we can't be working down here. I see the kidneys, right, but, um, right, and then we are going to have the, ooh, this right here might be the, the bladder. I can't remember what this is. I'll have to look it up. No, that's not the bladder. Maybe it is. No, it's not. It's not. You know how we're gonna find the bladder, guys? We're just going to follow the ureters. So I'm gonna drain this pig real quick and then we'll start the next video. Richer. Yeah. So I'm getting at the kidneys. They sit richer peritoneal Lee. All right, so I'm just gonna grab, grab. Yeah, it worked better with my fingers. <laughs> grab the peritoneum, right? I'm gonna grab it and start peeling it back. Oh, maybe you gotta go, go from the other side real quick. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Okay. Hey, you can literally peel it up. It's like a tangerine. <laughs> it literally like a tangerine. It just came out. Okay. So, let's see. What's the important parts coming off of it? Um, I should have mentioned, right? I've already cut through it probably. Uh, yeah, right here, guys. You see this? So right there, you can see it open a second ago. There. This right here, this is the renal artery. Shoot. Come on. 
can kind of see it, the vessel right, so it came right off the abdominal aorta here. Right, this is the abdominal aorta, it's all like, the aorta's gonna be all the way in the back, right, um, you know, against the spine. That's where it's safest. Let's see here. Uh, same thing on this side, I already cut through the arteries. So, that sucks, but okay. Let's pull this guy out. All right, I'm just gonna cut between the ureter. There, yeah. come on. There. there, now we can kind of see the ureter a little better. Right, so it's gonna have all this sticky stuff. Now, as far as the adrenal glands, I've never been able to really find those. So the first group to find adrenal glands gets all the bonus points they could really want, honestly. No, I'm just kidding. I can't give you all the bonus points, but um, definitely some big points for the adrenal glands, right? Um, I'll have pictures um, for you guys where like the adrenal glands are supposed to be. I don't know if, I'll, I'll try to find, I'm sure someone has found it on the fetal pig, but um, they don't necessarily sit on top. They might sit like, we can't sit in front. There's nothing else in front of them, right? I'm not sure, right? Because I, I mean, I couldn't, you guys were watching it with me, right? That, there wasn't anything really, right? I mean, that was sitting, and they're retroperitoneal too, right? I took the, that out, I can't find anything here, so. Anyway, moving on. So let's trace right back, because I think, I'm pretty sure this right here is the bladder, right? These are the umbilical arteries to the left and to the right of it. I've already cut them, you know, cut the attachments, right? And so let's trace the ureters. I'm gonna have to make another incision here. Just get a little deeper. Come on, all right, so here, I don't know if this could be it or not, but right here, right, this is the abdominal aorta right here. I cut the right iliac, common iliac. Right here, we are cut the left common iliac, so that's what that was attached to here. You can kind of see how the kidneys, whoop, got them all tangled up. Let's get them untangled real quick. Okay, so these are the umbilical arteries. Okay. Okay, here we go. That's how that was, right? This is our bladder. We had our umbilical arteries on either side of it. We pull that down behind it. Here we can kind of see how the ureters, right, go in. They feed in. They feed into the bladder. This is our bladder. It's pretty tough, too, like, um... Surprisingly, but our ovaries, according to our diagram, our uterus and ovaries, we see the aorta should be in front of it. Did I already? Hmm. This is the only structure here that looks like it could be an ovary, but let's pause it. I'm just gonna to do some more cutting. All right, this is the bladder. All right, I cut it from the umbilical cord. It's, but this is the bladder. Looks like that. Let's see, it has the two umbilical arteries. This was one of them that was it going with it. This is the other one. So here I have the bladder and the two umbilical arteries. You can actually see the ureters, how they go. There's one side goes into the bladder and then the other ureter. You follow it, follow it. It would attach into, oh no, I may have cut it, I cut it. I cut the other ureter, um, but it would be going in here, right? I cut it, but we were looking for the, um, um, right, the uterus and the ovaries. And so uh, being, you know, like it was really tough to find it. So we, we, we you know, open this up, we split it. Uh, you can use your hands to break this bone maybe, you know, if you're wearing goggles or something. I mean, it hasn't been that splashy, right? No, not at all, right? So. Uh, we followed up the, you know, we started with the two holes back here because, you know, we can make out what's what. And we kind of went up the uh, vagina here, you know, just tracing it, right, and then separating it, cutting it. This right here is the rectum. And we're like, well, what the heck? Where is it? And I kept thinking that these, hold on, these um, wrinkly pieces here, right, right, here's an ovary, right here in my hands. See the little bit at the end, that's the ovary. So that's the right ovary. And you'll, you, can, you'll, you can find it. If you can find the, the vagina and follow it up, it's going to be just 
right? So this right here, I'm holding the rectum with my right hand. So the uterus is going to be just um, anterior to it. So this is the right ovary, so let's find the left one. Um, let me pick it out and get the forceps. Here it is. So yeah, I kind of butchered this one, but now I know where, where they are, what they look like too, so I'd be able to find it. Here's the other ovary. So, right and left ovaries. Let's see the uterus, I kind of butchered, but you know, it'd be, I guess I'm holding part of the uterus here. Or this is part of, this is the uterus. Or not the, um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, this is the uterus. This is the uterus right here. That makes sense, yeah, the uterus, bladder, and then the rectums, or actually, so from back to front, so it'd be rectum, uterus, bladder. And that's pretty much it. So one more thing I didn't talk about that we should do is whenever we got this pig. All right, if you wanna cut right on either, you know, sides of the, the, um, the ribs right here to get to, you know, you know, to the brachial plexus here, right, to find that stuff. Um, I also kind of did an incision. I start an incision just kind of going down the thigh, basically, so I can kind of spread things out, you know, just to, because I know there's nothing important right here on the inside of the thigh, but it gives me, it opens this space up, so I have, you know, I know where I can, um, I can cut and maneuver around a little bit better. But yeah, so another technique, you can just, you know, break things open with your hands, you know, this stuff is pretty easy. Use your hands for a lot of this stuff. You can peel. Um, Another thing for the people that are going to be doing like the, uh, trying to find like the parotid glands, uh, the submandibular gland and the sublingual uh, gland, um, you guys are going to make an incision basically from here, going all the way to the ear, like, you know, like, uh, you know, put a smile on that face, like in Batman, and go from there, start reflecting, right, and I think it should be somewhere by the ear, just under the ear, um, but you guys can look for those. I think this might even be a gland right here. This bit right here. That could be the submandibular gland right here. Um, or maybe, I mean, it might also be part of the thymus. I'm not entirely sure. Well, I guess I can pull it out. See right here, so. Uh, shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's part of the thymus. Um, or, or maybe not, I don't know. That's what complete anatomy's for, but yeah. That's basically it. So yeah, I um, hope you guys are as excited as I was, or trust me, once you get into it, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and it's easy. And we knocked this out and we didn't even really know what we were doing in like an hour and a half, not even, with making these videos. And I mean, trust me, I don't know anything about the female uh, fetal pig reproductive organs. It's pretty crazy, but um, it's not bad. So now I know what to do and I can help you guys out. and. Hopefully this video will give you guys some uh, insight on what to expect, how it looks, um, what you need to do. That way, you know, we're not so clueless and wasting time. You know, we can get this done um, in an orderly fashion. And people can get those bonus points. But yeah, thanks for staying tuned and um, we'll see you next week. Hmm. There we go. So that's the bonus points. I hear this front gland is the parotid, the one sitting just behind it. Mm -hmm. Not the, just this bit right Like there. this bit, right? Yeah, just that bit. Yeah, the, the one that's on top of the scalp, the scapula. Scapula, scapula. Scalpel. Scalpel. Yeah, that's the um, the sub the submaxillary gland.